I think it's it's not unfair to call it a bit of a fairy tale season. You know, we did we didn't do a lot of talking during the season as Kogalo. We worked behind the scenes, but really preseason was tough. There was days, you know, our staff know we had six, seven, eight players in training because there was issues behind the scenes, the finances, etc. And we really were struggling. And I think um, a lot of people had us pegged to finish mid-table this season. But we knew, we worked away quietly, we knew we had young guys, yes, but they had a lot of character with them. We knew they would make mistakes along the way, but we had to support them and push them and, you know, almost be like big brothers to them. And, you know, I think you've seen today, it hasn't been a perfect season, but we didn't expect it to be. Because, like I said, if you look, our normal starting 11 often has five or six guys who are under the age of 23 in it. And so it, there's going to be mistakes. But the guys had real belief, even when we hit stumbling blocks along the way. And that was even today, you know, we were in control in the first half and then to come out and to go 1 0 behind. But we'd spoken about that because we knew City Stars were a team that could score, but equally if we pushed, they would let goals in. But, you know, I couldn't be prouder of the guys, you know, from the young boys coming through, the likes of Machuga, Joshua Nyango, Benson Omala, to seasoned campaigners like Philemon and Lando. You know, I know some people criticize some of those guys, but they are tough as nails and they will play through the pain bar. Even today, Wendo had his ankle heavily strapped. You saw he didn't play the other day, but it was like, I will push through for the team. And I don't think you could have told that he was very heavily strapped up today. So it's been a fantastic season. You know, a big thank you to all of the staff, you know, the guys behind the scenes who get up, you know, at four or five in the morning to, uh, to get the kit ready, to get the goals ready, to make sure training. But look, this is only the start. We know that we have to build on this. It's a great moment for the club, our 20th league title. But now we've got to enjoy, because you've got to enjoy these moments, because there's only one team gets to do this every season. So we've got to enjoy it, and then it's about preparing for next season, because we know it's not going to get any easier. And that's not just about continental football. It's also about the league. All of our rivals this year are going to re, re, reassess, reset, and they're going to come again hard at us. So we've got to be ready for that. Coach, how much when the team was winding down, did you believe that your team could come back in the game? No, absolutely. I think um, City Stars are a team who like to play football, and we've got some quick players, some exciting players. They've also got some experienced heads in their team. But we also know, if you look at their record, their defense is a bit creepy. You know, it's almost like a chair that's had its legs screwed on 20 times. It works, but if you put it under pressure, it might break. And so even though we went 1-0 behind, we sort of we felt we could come back into it. And we'd spoken about that before the game. You look at City Stars a few days ago, we're 2-0 up against Talanta, ended up 2-2. And with all due respect to Talanta, we've got a lot more goal scoring potential than a lot of teams in the league. So, yeah, um, we weren't overly concerned. We knew time was against us, but yeah, once once we scored, we knew that we'd probably score. And this part of the season, we might have not